Hello guys, welcome back to Years Job Technical Channel. Today we continue the topic of Web RTC. We'll talk about some important JavaScript APIs and talk about how to build a simple demo using all these APIs. With that said, let's get started. Personally, get used to media enumerated devices and RTPP connection. These three APIs are the most important if I want to build a one-on-one -on -one video demo. So first, audio and video capture API, media devices, get user media. The media devices get user media API promotes the user for permission to use a media input, which produces a media stream with tracks containing the requested types of media. That stream can include a video track and an audio track, for example. That is the reason why your browser will pop up a window to request access to a microphone and camera. In media devices get user media, a parameter named constraints is important. The constraint parameter is an object with two numbers, video and audio, describing the media types requested. You can request audio and video without any specific requirements like this. Or you can request with additional constraints like this, by using an ideal value which has gravity. The browser will try to find the settings and camera if you have more than one with the smallest fitness distance from the ideal value given. Here you can see this example give a preference for camera resolution and assigns the resulting media stream object to a video element. So second, get the audio or video devices input and output this API, media devices, enumerated devices. The media devices method enumerated devices requests a list of the available media input and output devices, such as microphones, cameras, headset, and so forth. The return promise is resolved with a media device info array describing the devices. Here is an example of using enumerated devices. It outputs a list of the device IDs with their labels if available. So the last one is RTC peer connection, the API for creating peer-to-peer -peer connections, and it is the key to our real-time audio and video communication. In this API, four media negotiation methods are used. They are create offer, create answer, local description, and remote description. Also with two important events, on ice candidate and on ad streams. One of the most important aspects of peer-to-peer -peer communication is the exchange of media information. We explain the principle of media negotiation with a diagram like this. It's easy to see from the above diagram that the whole media negotiation process can be simplified into 30 steps corresponding to the four media negotiation method mentioned above. First step, AMI creates an offer and transmits the offer message containing the SDP message of herself to Bob via the signaling server, and Amy also calls set local description to save the offer containing the local SDP information. Step 2. After receiving the offer message from Amy, Bob calls the set remote description method to save the offer containing the SDP information of Amy and create an answer and transmit the answer message containing the SDP information of Bob to Amy via the signaling server. Step 3. Amy received the answer message from Bob and calls the set remote description method to save the answer. After these three steps, the media negotiation part of the peer-to-peer -peer communication is completed. So the flow between two peers and the server is quite clear. It's also easy to see from the diagram that assuming peer A is the initiator and peer B is the receiver, a signaling server is in need mainly for managing room information and forwarding network and media message. In this demo, the signaling server is built using KOA and socket I.O. First, on server side, then on client side. After we build a signaling server, there will be six steps between two peers establish a video call. Step 1. Peer A and Peer B will connect to the signaling server, so the signaling server needs to store the information of two peers. So you see on server side, when someone opens the web page, the server will return a SOC ID with connect successful. 
And when someone joins the room, the server will check the status of the room. If the room is available, the server will return a SOC ID with join the room successfully. Step 2. PRA initiates a video invitation to peer B. At this moment, PRA will call the method set local description to set the local SDP information description and send its SDP information to the other end via the signaling server. Step 3. As I mentioned earlier, while calling method set local description, PRA start collecting network information, which is also called candidate on its own end. If PRA is not on the LAN, or if the network hole punching is not successful, it will try to make a request to the stun or to the TAN server, also known as collecting relay candidates. So when creating the RTC peer connection, PRA also need to listen for IC network candidate events. Step 4. When peer B gets the over information containing SDP from peer A through the signaling server, peer B calls method set remote description to store the SDP information of peer A and also calls method set local description to create and set the local SDP information and transmit the answer containing the local SDP information to peer A through the signaling server. Step 5. When peer A receives the answer from peer B via the signaling server, it will call set remote description to complete the exchange of SDP information between the two peers. Step 6, which is the last step. When the exchange of SDP message is done, peer A and peer B will listen event on ice candidate to collect the network candidates. They will get each other's video streams. Then let's see how the demo works from the very beginning. Thank you.